Yeah, it was, uh, there were times when, like I said, you know, it's a low budget film, so you don't really have the luxury of locking off massive areas. So we'd be in a car shooting a scene, and you'd just, out of the corner of your eyes, see girls hiding behind car, literally hiding behind trees uh, with their cell phones out. So you're kind of like, <laughs> you hear your first AD, all right, we're just gonna hold for a second. And like, someone would go and clear out the fangirls, and then we'd continue shooting. The character that he plays is this legacy, this guy who comes back, this kind of legend within the fraternity. And it was a really easy role and dynamic for him to slip into because this guy's walking on set with a bunch of like 20-something actors who all idolize him. Um, and then he started slapping me in the face, uh, which was not scripted. There's a scene at the end of the film where I show up at the frat house and I'm kind of confronting some of the brothers. And originally, I'm supposed to bring the goat in with me. And so, like, we're shooting the scene, and we do a few takes, and the goat just kind of comes in, pees on the floor, walks out. Like, in the middle of the scene, you can't really, you know, you don't know what the goat's going to do. So then we're like, let's tie up the goat outside. And, you know, it'll be like, yeah, Brad tied him up. So then we tried that, and then the goat starts buying. And the first take, it's, it's, a, it's you know, we have to come in hot on this scene. So we do the first take of the goat tied up and we hear it start buying and Gus and I, who have this confrontational scene, um, we thought that it was a crew member just, you know, joking around with the goat and didn't know we were rolling. So Gus and I are like coming in hot and we're like, can we just be quiet on set? Can we both like, and um, yeah, and it turned out it was the goat. So we had to just scrap the goat from that scene. Goats, uh, they kind of just do their own thing. O'Doul's probably should have sponsored this film because we drank a lot of non-alcoholic beer. And it doesn't matter what you're drinking. When you're drinking copious amounts of anything, it's tough. Um, but uh, especially when it's non-alcoholic beer that's been in like a keg in the back of a props van for four days, um, nice and warm. Yeah, Andrew took Nick and uh, me and Nick out uh, with a bunch of like frat brothers from from uh, nearby universities in Cincinnati, and uh, rented out this bar called Woody's, and um, yeah, we just went really hard one night. 